Hey there guys, I'm Wesonator88 here, and today we're playing some Fishing Planet. So as you may have noticed guys, the St. Patrick's Day event has now finally come out. So, what does that mean? Well, obviously, during the St. Patrick's Day event, there are two fish that we are going to be hunting today. So, the first fish that we are going to be hunting for is obviously the Leprechaun fish, as you can see. So, obviously, that means we're going to need to get a couple of rods. So, as you can see, we've got the Fennec 1410, which has a line weight of 5 to 22 pounds. We're also going to be using the Line Glider 4000, which has a max drag of 22 pounds. So it's matching the rod with the reel. So obviously for the line, I'm going to be using Fluoro, um, which is a 20 pound line. I could use something like a braid, like the 19 pound line, which would be absolutely fine, or the 20 pound braid there. And we're also going to be using the Big Owl 1410, which has a line weight of 6.5 to 19.5, but also has a casting weight of 3 to 6 ounces. It's going to be very important there. We also have the reel, this is Fat Boy Spin 6000, which has a max drag of 19.8 pounds. Now, obviously, as I just mentioned, the cast weight is we're going to need a sinker for this rod, obviously, because it's a feeder. So I'm using a 2 3 quarter ounce sinker obviously for my line i'm going to be using a 19 pound test and obviously for a feeder you're going to need a leader i'm going to be using titanium because for me i'm always going to use titanium so for my titanium it is an 18.7 pound test and obviously with both these rods i'm going to be using a 2 art hook the reason why is because it's going to help me catch the leprechaun fish a lot easier obviously i'm going to be using drunken worms because that is what i will catch the leprechaun fish on a lot easier and the other fish we're going to be going for is the rowdy bass as you see they can get pretty big and can be a bit of a fighter what we're going to be using is the body grasshoppers to catch the rowdy bass a bit easier but what we can do is also use the drunken worms which will catch the rowdy bass now again vice versa mostly going to be using the drunken worms to catch the leprechaun fish but now and again we can use the bloody grasshoppers to catch the leprechaun fish. Just in case you're wondering, anything that I've just quickly gone over, I'm going to have that down in the description down below. So if you want to check out the information for everything that I've gone about, it is going to be down there. Also, the levels for the rods and the reels, you can get them. Now, just in case, you can buy the baits that we're going to be using, like the drunk worms and the bloody grasshoppers in the item shop. So if you're going to get them, use your bait coin that you've got you're going to get quite a bit you know you're going to get 13 of each with these setups you're going to be catching these fish pretty easily so at this point you must be wondering well why should i care about getting either of these two fish well believe it or not this is the only time out of the year you can actually get some bait coin from catching these fish so my suggestion if you really want to get some bait coin in and you want to get quite a lot i'm going to suggest going to lesna villa fishery Obviously take a ton of drunk worms with you and just fish for leprechaun fish because it's going to make you so much bait coin with the amount of time the event is on. Now, before you go there, I'm going to especially say this right now. Make sure you have either the fish cabin large because that will hold the leprechaun fish without a problem because they can get up to almost 20 pounds. Or take fish jail large because unfortunately they don't have anything that's about 20 pounds. This one will hold leprechaun fish plus a bit more. So they're the two that I'd use either out of the kink net or the stringer. Again, it's going to be, you've got to be level 23 or 24. But even so, you may still be struggling with your rods at your level, guys. So do be warned, this is going to be a bit of a task for you. Unless you're around level 30, then you're going to breeze through this a lot easier. You've decided to come to Les Novello. Now, there's quite a few spots you can go. I'm going to show you where I will actually go because it makes it a lot easier on catching these leprechaun fish. That again is only for me, guys. Um, everyone else might say, oh, you know, they find it a lot easier at different locations at Lesna Villa. So I'm going to make my way. As you can see, I've got my marker there. Now, I obviously park myself around here. So I've got some lily pads there. I've got that house straight in front of me. That is my marker for me. I'm basically looking straight at it, just about. So, on the map, I should be around about, I'm around about the right spot. I will put down in the description the location I usually fish from for this. And obviously, I will put down the, this marker. I will leave it on the screen for you guys just for a minute. Just if you want to get the location where I'm going to be fishing for the leprechaun fish. There we go. So, there are two rods you're going to be using, which will obviously be the feeder. Now, obviously... 
I'm going to be fishing up to 95 feet. I will have the conversion in the description as well, guys. Just in case you're wondering, I do have the conversion written out. So that should be hitting out there. I might be off on my spot a bit, but no, it's usually over there. Oh, well. Does the bell ring? The bell's not ringing. I'm not going to pick it up. Bell's not ringing. Now the bell rings. Fortunately, with a float rod, I don't pick it up until the bell starts ringing. Now, as you can see with the feeder, it's going to bring in the fish quite easily. It should not take me too long to bring in the first fish. And I mean, it won't take me that long. Now, I usually would recommend using float rods here, but unfortunately they seem to be taking a bit of time, so I would recommend using feeders at the minute when you're at Lesnar Villa. It really depends. You might all have different experiences. This shouldn't take me that long to bring this fish in. Come on. Usually this brings it in without any difficulty. There we go. See? In. Without any hassle. That took me, what, maybe a minute to bring in? So I'm going to fish this lake up. And I'm going to show you what it looks like with a full keep net. So as you may have noticed, I've fished this lake quite a bit. And I've been using drunken worms. Now obviously I've caught perch quite a bit. I usually have caught carp with the drunken worms at times. But I've caught quite a load of leprechaun fish. At least 15 of them. So that is really good. That's quite a lot of bait coin. And if I continue doing this, I'm going to make more and more each time. So I'm now going to head over to Mudwater Lake. And I'll show you exactly the location of where to try and get the rowdy bass from. Okay guys, so we're now here at Mudwater Lake. Now there are a few locations you can go fishing. Now where I go is I go over here to fish. Obviously I put the glasses on because obviously there's a bit of a bright light from over there. <laughs> As you can see, it's a bit bright. Now I fish, usually for the rowdy bass, over here next to the silver pot. And obviously what I will be using I'll have to quickly change this. Here's obviously I'm going to be using the bullet grasshoppers. And where I usually go is I go around about here. So it's about 80 feet out. So I need to get the the grasshoppers there. Now sometimes you'll catch the leprechaun fish as well but we are mostly trying to get the rowdy bass. Now you could use the drunken worms as well it's gonna make no difference really but I kind of want to save the drunken worms as much as possible unless I'm actually doing the challenges for this location. So I'm gonna let time pass and hopefully I'll be back with you when we get in the rowdy bass from over here. Right, so that is definitely a rowdy bass because I saw that jump up. And like I say, this is going to be a bit of a fight with my two rods. So I'll get this in as best as I can.
end, as you can see, <coughs> that took me a bit of time. So hopefully, me just being that helped you out a little bit, guys. Cause that did take a good, I'm gonna say six minutes with my uh, Fenix. So I'm gonna continue fishing. I'm gonna try and fill my keep net, and we'll see exactly how much I have by the end of this. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna make this the last fish because it's taken a bit of time for me to catch these bully grasshoppers. So obviously I've changed the locations. I was over the side of that bush. I'm now over here in the middle, next to these two kayaks. I'm casting 65 feet out. So I will put that down in the description for this location. So hopefully it won't take too long and hopefully we'll be able to bring in the bully grasshopper or a leprechaun fish. We'll soon find out. Okay, so we've got a left corn fish. Obviously, as you can tell, I have changed my bait from Buddha Grasshopper so I can get the left corn fish. So, yeah, that should hopefully help you guys out just a little bit and make things a bit easier. So, I'm not going to fish here because I hate mud water, like the plague. So, as you can see, we've what I've actually caught on Buddha Grasshoppers is quite a few different fish. Obviously, the bass have been a bit difficult to get. As you can see, you can catch the leprechaun fish on either body grasshopper or the drunken worms, which is also a bonus, but you do also get a few of the normal fish. Um, but yeah, so like I say, this location, I'll put in the description, I'll call it the two kayak spot. And obviously, this spot, I've called the silver pot spot, because obviously, there's a silver pot next to it. So yeah. Hopefully, guys, that has helped you out a little bit. Uh, I do have a video for a Nero 1010, which I'll link at the end of the video, which will give any beginner players a little bit easier of a time, maybe catching the left corn fish. So hopefully you enjoy, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.